Welcome to my lecture online. Let's do the tangent of a half angle. In other words, let's derive the identity for the tangent of a half angle. And of course, we're going to use the relationship that the tangent is the sine over the cosine. And from the previous videos, we found the solutions for the sine of a half angle and the cosine of a half angle. So that means that this cannot be written as plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of theta over 2 divided by plus or minus the square root of 1 plus the cosine of theta over 2. And then if we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 2, we end up with this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of theta times 1 plus the cosine of theta. Now we don't want to leave it in that form. We could simplify it some more by doing the following. So this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of theta divided by 1 plus the cosine of theta. And now the trick we're going to use, and depending upon which form you want, can be done in two ways. We can first multiply the top and the bottom by 1 plus the cosine of theta. Square root of, I should say, 1 plus the cosine of theta. Now you say, well, why did you use 1 plus? Because sh shouldn't you try to rationalize the denominator? And, well, that's the other way of doing it, and we'll do that next. But let's do this first. And so when we do that, we get the following. This is equal to plus and minus the square root of, here we have two binomials with the sign difference, 1 plus, 1 minus. So when we multiply, we get 1 minus the cosine square of theta divided by, in the denominator, we get 1 plus the cosine of theta quantity squared. And of course, that means that this can be written as plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine square of theta is the sine square of theta divided by 1 plus the cosine of theta quantity squared. And of course, since we take the square root of that, we simply get rid of the radicals and um, but the exponents, I should say, the exponents cancel out, cancel out the radical, and so end up with uh, <clears throat> plus or minus the sine of theta divided by 1 plus the cosine of theta. Now, do we need the plus or minus? Ah, we can leave that out and simply say that the tangent of theta over 2 is simply equal to the sine of theta divided by 1 plus the cosine of theta, since we squared uh, everything in the, in the radical, got rid of the radical, we don't need that, and so we can simply write it like this. On the other hand, if you want to then use the other trick, if you go from here and you write this as plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of theta divided by 1 plus the cosine of theta, and then you multiply that times the radical of 1 minus the cosine of theta divided by 1 minus the cosine of theta. You can do that as well. So then in the numerator, you end up with the plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of theta squared divided by the denominator. You see that these are two binomials with the sine difference, so this becomes 1 minus the cosine square of theta. And so this can then be written as plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of theta squared divided by the sine square of theta, which means that the tangent of theta divided by 2 can be written as 1 minus the cosine of theta divided by the sine of theta. And both forms are equally valid, whichever you prefer, but that means then also that the sine of theta divided by 1 plus the cosine of theta must therefore be equal to 1 minus the cosine of theta divided by the sine of theta. He said, well, let's see if that's true. So let's say the sine of theta divided by 1 plus the cosine of theta. Is that equal to question mark 1 minus the cosine of theta divided by the sine of theta? And if we cross multiply, we end up with the left side, the sine square of theta equals 1 minus the cosine, um, the cosine, uh, oh, let's see, when we multiply, we get 1 minus the cosine square of theta, which is the sine square of theta, so the sine square of theta equals the sine square of theta. So we've shown that both forms of the, of the equations are the same, 
the tangent of half angle can be written like this or like that, and we show that both answers are the same, and that is how it's done.